Let's talk about paroxysmal hemicrania. So paroxysmal hemicrania is a trigeminal autonomic cephalalgia. So basically it happens over the trigeminal distribution and happens with autonomic symptoms. The onset is typically in someone's 20s to 40s and it's equally common in men and women. This is a pretty rare headache but one special feature is that it is highly responsive to treatment. In fact, if it's not responsive to standard treatment, then alternative diagnoses should be sought. It can have a chronic course or a relapsing remitting course. The headaches in paroxysmal hemicrania have a spontaneous onset. This is in contrast to trigeminal neuralgia where the headaches may be triggered by chewing or a cold sensation. The attacks in paroxysmal hemicrania occur greater than five times a day for over half the time and it is characterized by severe unilateral pain that does not switch sides and it's usually sudden onset and lasts two to thirty minutes. The amount of time that the headache lasts is very important for diagnosing this headache as well as the frequency. So the pain most uh, commonly occurs in the V1 distribution, so around the eyes. The physical exam is normal. You must also have one of either restlessness and agitation or any ipsilateral autonomic symptom, so conjunctival injection, lacrimation, eyelid edema, rhinorrhea, sweating, meiosis, or ptosis. For evaluation, a MRI of the brain should be done to exclude secondary causes, which have a relatively high occurrence in this disease. The diagnosis is confirmed by response to endomethazin at 75 to 225 milligrams daily. This is typically divided into three doses. For treatment, when endomethazin is started at 75 to 225 milligrams daily, then the patient should respond within days of the endomethacin being administered. There are some less effective treatments such as NSAIDs or verapamil, but those can be tried as well. For prognosis, paroxysmal hemicrania symptoms can reappear within a few days of stopping endomethacin, and patients with chronic paroxysmal hemicrania can require lifelong therapy for this reason. This is considered a lifelong disease.